Secondary Dominance 2. In the previous video, we introduced the concept of secondary dominance, where we used the 5 chord of a diatonic chord and then resolved it to that diatonic chord. So 5 of x, or 5 7 of x, would resolve to x. For example, 5 of 5 would resolve to 5, or 5 7 of 2 would resolve to 2. In this video, we'll sharpen our ear by listening to secondary dominance in context by looking at some popular examples. This will help us begin to identify them by ear and locate them in notation, such as a chord chart. Our first example is in the key of B-flat, which means we'll be looking and listening for chords that don't belong in our diatonic set for possible secondary dominance. So in B-flat, our diatonic chords are B flat, C minor, D minor, E flat, F, G minor, and A diminished. So in looking for a chromatic chord, we'll be looking for chords that don't fit within this set. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a cool boy, I need no sympathy. Because I'm easy come, easy go, little high. Okay, let's see what we have here. Starting off is the one chord with an added sixth for color, it then moves to a C dominant seven, which we know is not diatonic. First of all, because of the accidental in the melody. We also know that the two chord is minor and not a dominant seven. So do we call it a major two? Don't you dare. Instead, First identify the chord following the chromatic, which we see is a 5-7, which resolves predictably to 1. So the question is, how does that C7 relate to the 5-7 in a way that makes this a really effective sound? By now, you, by now you should be thinking about the key of F and discovering that C7 is indeed the 5, making it the 5-7 of 5 in the key of B-flat. Incidentally, this is why there's an E natural in the melody, because this is the leading tone in the key of F. Moving on, we see G minor 7, which is the 6-7 chord, moving to a B-flat dominant 7. Would this be a 1-7 chord? No. No. Remember, when the one chord in a major key is diatonically a major 7, not a dominant 7 chord. So a B flat 7 in the key of B flat must be something else that is not diatonic. Your standard procedure should be to look to the next chord, which in this case is a normal 4 chord. So does B flat 7 relate to E flat in any way? Of course, B flat 7 is the dominant 7 in the key of E flat, making this an example of the 5, 7 of 4. Then we have the C minor 7, which is a 2, and the F7, which is 5, 7. Now that we have it all analyzed, Let's have one more listen and see if you can really wrap your ear around the sound of that secondary dominant resolving. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Our 
Our next example is in D minor, so keep in mind the diatonic chords you'd expect to find in D minor. D minor, E diminished, F, G minor, A minor, B flat, and C. Also, since we're in minor mode, don't forget that some of the chords might be from natural minor, as well as ascending melodic minor with the raised 6th and 7th scale degrees. For instance, you might also see E minor, G major, A major, B diminished, or C sharp diminished. So, without any help, see if you can analyze this phrase correctly all on your own. Well, let's see how you did. The chords are, in fact, all diatonic, except for the D over F sharp, which, since we're in D minor, should definitely strike you as a non-diatonic harmony. Upon further inspection, you'll see that D is the dominant in the key of the following chord, G minor, making D over F sharp a 5-6 of 4. Let's have one more listen. Our third example will be back in B flat major. So here's again our set of diatonic chords in B flat major. So listen carefully to this next example. The chromatic chords are a little bit more subtle than the previous examples. I waited till I saw the sun. Don't know why I didn't come. I left you by. For songs that rely heavily on seventh chords, it's probably a good idea to remind yourself what the diatonic seventh chords you'd expect to find in the key are, so you can quickly identify the non diatonic seventh chords. Right away, we know that B flat major 7, G minor 7, and F7 are all diatonic seventh chords. We also know that the 4 and the 1 are obviously diatonic. This leaves three chords that don't fit the diatonic profile. Can you figure out what they are? Hopefully, you determined the 5, 7 of 4 resolving to 4, the 5 of 6 resolving to 6, and 5, 7 of 5 resolving to 5. Let's listen one more time, and notice that the secondary dominants don't sound dramatic or over the top in any way. They're just subtle and helping the progression move along in an interesting way. I waited till I saw the sun I don't know why Left you by. Our last example is in E flat major. So let's review the diatonic chords in E flat major. We have the one chord E flat, F minor, G minor, A flat, B flat, C minor, and D diminished. Contrary to the subtlety of the secondary dominants in, in the previous example, these ones are used to invoke a very stark shift in emotion and mark the beginning of a new section in the song. Just watch and listen closely. I dreamed a dream in time gone by 
When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving Then I was young and unafraid When dreams were made and used and wasted no ransom to be paid no song unsung no wine untasted but the tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder So, knowing you're an E-flat major, without any help, you should be able to analyze this excerpt from what you just heard. Pause the video and see if you can achieve 100% accuracy. How did you do? 100% accuracy? The only tricky thing about this example may have been the first progression that resolves as expected, 5 of 2 to 2, happens again, although the second time it resolves instead to another secondary dominant, adding an unexpected emotional lift to the lyrics. Notice, however, that both of the chords of resolution are F chords, so they still act as a true 5 to 1 resolution. It's just that the 5 of 5 overlaps the resolution of the 5 of 2, suspending the drama a little bit further. It is musical theater, after all. Let's listen and watch the completely analyzed section and really try to wrap your ear, again, around the way these chords and harmonies interact. Sung no wine untasted, but the tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder. 